Hello to everyone, my name is Jaime and in this video I'm going to show you how to program a class at eTutorSchool.com. In order to program your class, there are five steps you need to take into account. Step number one, look for a tutor. Step number two, once you have selected a tutor, select a course from the teacher you have selected. Step number three, once you have selected the course, you contact the teacher. Step number four, wait for the teacher's confirmation. And step number five, enjoy your lesson. So let's get started. Step one, look for a tutor. When I log into the platform, the first thing I'm going to see is my profile. So this is my profile. I would like to learn Japanese and I speak English, Filipino and Japanese. Well, partially. In order to select a tutor, I select Find a Tutor at the top of the screen. And I'll immediately be directed to the list of teachers. In order to ease my search, I can see some of the details of the teachers. For example, in this case, we can see Jaime over here. He's a teacher from Colombia. He speaks English, Spanish, and French, and he teaches English and Spanish. His average cost per hour is 16 credits, and a 30-minute trial with this, with this teacher costs one credit. Let's remember that one credit equals one dollar. Over here we see his video introduction. So if we click over here, we're going to be able to see the video where he speaks about himself, about his qualifications, his hobbies, his interests, so we can get to know the teacher a little bit more. In view time schedule, we can see the times at which the teacher is available. So basically, this teacher is available from Monday to Friday at these specific times. And if I select this teacher, I go to Schedule. If I want to narrow down my search, I can use the filters. Here is the first filter. If I click on this filter, only the teachers with available trials are going to appear. So in this case, Jaime has an available trial. If I go to Instant Lessons Available, only the teachers who offer instant lessons will appear. Instant Lessons refers to the fact that if I want a teacher at the moment of the search, I click on this filter and only the teachers who are available at that moment will appear. Within this box, I can also find some filters. Teaching preference, for example, refers to um, the language I would like to learn and I would like my teacher or the tutor I'm looking for to teach me. So if I want to learn Spanish, I select Spanish. However, if I'm an English speaker, I would like my teacher to speak English. So. I want a Spanish teacher who speaks English. So over here I select English. And over here I select the average cost per hour and click on search. Let's say I choose Jaime. So I click on Jaime. And in order to choose him, I must go to schedule. Step two. Select a course from the teacher you have chosen. We can see that this teacher offers three courses, which are Español Conversacional, Pronunciación de Vocabulario Básico, and Basic English Grammar. And over here we can see the cost per lesson. So if I wish to have a 30-minute lesson about Español Conversacional, it's going to cost me 11 credits. If I want a 60-minute lesson 
on pronunciation del vocabulario básico, it's going to cost me 16 credits. Or, for example, if I just want a trial class so as to feel confident about the teacher and feel that I'm making the right decision, I can click on trial class, which only costs one credit. Trial classes tend to be cheaper, however, they have a limited number. Um, once I have selected my course, I click on next. Please bear in mind that when you program a class with a teacher or in order to program a class with a teacher, you must first have credits. If you do not have any credits, when you click next, you're going to be directed to a window where you can purchase credits. In this case, I have credits, so I can contact my teacher. Step 3. Contact the teacher. Once you have selected the lesson, you contact the teacher. So you will be directed to this side over here. Uh, here you're going to see the details of the session you would like to have. The teacher's name or username, Jaime. The time duration of the class, which is 30 minutes. The price, which is one credit. And remember that one credit equals one US dollar and the course or service I would like to have. In this case, it is a trial class. The lesson schedule. I click on schedule lesson and I'll see the days and times the teacher is available. So I see that he's available from Monday to Saturday. These dates which are crossed out are not available at the moment because the days have already passed. However, if I want a class for the 29th, 30th or 31st of January, I can choose any of the options I am given over here. So I choose a time. Say for example, I'd like to have a class at 6. I click on save and my class has been programmed. I, also, I can also choose um, there are two which I would like to have while having my class, so there is a drop down menu. There are three available tools which are eTutors Whiteboard, Skype and Google Hangouts. If I use Google Hangouts, I have to include over here my ID, my Gmail ID. If I use Skype or I choose Skype, I have to include my Skype address. But if I choose eTutors Whiteboard over here, I do not have to include any username. In message, uh, over here I can type a short message that I would like my tutor to see when he receives his confirmation email. And finally, I'm going to see the available balance I have at the moment, which is 19 credits, and the required balance for this class or service. I confirm my password and click on continue. Step 4. Wait for teacher's confirmation. It will be sent to your email. Now that you have requested your lesson, the teacher has 24 hours to confirm your lesson. Once he confirms it, you're going to receive an email that says lesson request approved. And this is what you're going to see in that email. You're going to see your username, your lesson request has been approved, and if you want to see more details about your lesson, you can click on this link or you can look at this information below. Where you're going to find the name of the teacher, the, your, your own username, uh, the date and time of the lesson and the lesson ID. It is also important to note that two hours before every lesson, you're going to receive a session reminder email that is going to contain uh, the details of the lesson once again. And finally, step five, enjoy. If you have any questions, you can write anytime to office at etutorschool.com or you can also add us on Skype. Our username is etutor.school. Thank you for your attention.